I would love to hear it from your husband himself. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Tell her the story. <laughs> you do know the story, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, then tell it to her, Jack. Tell her the story. Okay, tell okay, her. okay. I will tell her the story. Okay. Saturday evening and the moon was not there. No, it was not. Are you telling the story or am I telling the story? You are, but that was not it. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> oh, that must have been how I met uh, Susan. Eh? I will tell the story again. Uh, so I was walking down the sandy beaches of the coastal city of Mombasa. And then I, I quickly noticed that the tides was, were, were quite heavy that day. And right there and there, I came across a very big... No! That wasn't it either. <laughs> ah! Wait. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. That must have been how I met Betty. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know, Betty was such a beauty. Ah. I used to call her beautiful Betty. B. B. Oh. <laughs> uh, I wonder where Betty is nowadays or what she's doing, you know, how she's doing. And, uh, At yeah. this very moment, Jackson. Your wife's feelings as 
petty. Well, only when necessary, which happens all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I'd like to sit here and chat a bit more. Uh, clearly, this is not working, and time is not on my side. So, I guess I'm done here. Yeah. That is it. So, can we go now? Oh, yeah, Diana, it's you I'm talking about. Can we go now? Diana, can we leave, please? No one is going anywhere until we resolve all this. You know, you may have all sorts of insensitive words to me, but you may not break my spirit. Now sit down, Jackson. Try this again. Mr. Tala, if I may ask, what do you do for a living? No, I'm an accountant by profession. <laughs> what does it have to do with anything here? It's funny how my friends warned me about marrying an accountant. <laughs> they say accountants are so boring and they know nothing about romance. But I gave you the benefit of doubt. Now I am counting my losses. <laughs> and what about you, Mrs. Tala? What is it that you do for work? Well, I am a housewife. I, I recently quit my job at the law firm before we got married. Are you a housewife by choice or are you yet to find a place of work? Mm, not really. What do you mean by that? My husband... You are not going to incite my wife. Let her finish. <laughs> Let her finish her answer to me. Mrs. Tala, is it by choice? No. My husband does not want me to work at all. And why is that? Well, I, I have never really understood the reason, but I know he is strongly opposed to me going to work. So, is that the reason why you quit your job? Yes, he asked me to. Were you okay with that decision? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? You see, at the time I, I didn't think I had a choice and I still think I don't have a choice now. But my marriage depended on it and, and I really wanted to marry him. So, if you were given the opportunity to go back to work, would you take it? Yes! I mean no. <laughs> it, it would just make matters worse in my marriage. Mr. Tala, mm. why do you not want your wife to work? It is a bad idea. And what makes you say that? <sighs> you are a marriage, ma marriage counselor, right? <clears throat> you are a marriage counselor, right? Continue, continue. How many men have walked in here because their marriages were ruined by their wife's career? How many? I don't want to be part of that statistic. I don't want to look, to, to, to be like my friends whose wives have left them because they got a better career or just a career at all. 
I will not allow myself to look back and think of myself as a man. Jackson Turner, who almost made it into marriage, I will not allow that. I will not allow myself to go through such a thing. That is impossible. So, let me get this straight. Are you saying that you are afraid that if your wife has a career, mm. she is going to leave you? Daftari, all I am saying is careers give women a false sense of independence. <laughs> when they start earning some money here and there, feminism kicks in and, and before you know it, they are gone. <laughs> What if she comes across a random man at work who decides to um, simply confuse the senses out of her? Yeah. I will not allow it. I'm just trying to keep my wife out of harm's way. That's all. I provide and she stays at home. That is it. What do you think about your husband's um, concerns? Are they valid? I love you, my husband. <laughs> you see, this is who you marry, and I cannot change. Do you even know who I am, Jackson? All this time, we have been together, and you still have no clue about who I am and what I am capable of doing. Do you think I just wake up one day and leave you? Do you think I am that shallow? I would not take any chances. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let us talk about something else. Let's talk about um, children. Have you had that conversation? Or rather, do you both want children? No! You don't want children. You want children. 